Hey everyone, it's Andy Petronic and Michael Stanwick, and we are here with your next lifestyle practice for the week. The practice for the upcoming week is called Intentional Acts of Kindness. For this practice, every day you will commit an intentional act of kindness, no act too small or too big. One person, one act, one thing. Typically it's done two or four Sub the support of another person. Sure. Or I, I could guess it could be an animal. Sure. You if you if, if, if you rescue a dog off the highway, that counts. counts. That absolutely. You probably counts. helped a lot of people in that instance. Right. You know. So, um, but we. There was a great story uh, once of a person doing doing. Uh, uh, well, I'm sure you've you guys have all heard of a person paying somebody else's parking meter that's about to go out. Yep. Um, uh, one of the guys at our gym paid someone's. Uh, God, now they, they went into the a, they went into a parking lot. Yeah, and he actually refunded their parking in an envelope on their windshield. Oh right, that's right. They had paid for par. I think paid, paying in this particular park was pretty expensive. Yeah, five or ten bucks or something like that. Yeah. and he put it in an envelope and he says, you know, intentional act of kindness. He actually wrote whole life challenge on the envelope. Yeah, they took a picture of it. They posted it on Instagram. And it actually it all came back. It actually to, made its way back. Yeah. So th this kind of stuff. Uh, can make a difference. And, and I don't want you to think there has to be money. It can be small right. things. You know, it can just be being there for somebody when they need you to be. Um, there, you know, there really is, kindness isn't a thing that's really measured by size or monetary value. One, one of the things that we ask you to do is to actually be intentional, though. So if the, if the day ends and you are like suddenly, you suddenly think to yourself, Oh crap! I, I forgot to do an intentional act of kindness. And you think back over your day, and you and you think, well, I was kind here, and I was kind here. It doesn't really count. Yeah, you're all good people. I mean, look, the last thing we want to tell you is that we don't think you're being good to people in general. But this is again, like a lot of other practices that we have, it's stepping back and actually assessing a situation, saying, where can I be of service? I mean, in a funny way, this this kind of this kind of the reasons for this practice overlap with a lot of other stuff that we do, like commenting on other people's reflections mm -hmm. or attitude it actually takes the your your mental focus off of yourself because a lot of times you're thinking about yourself you're thinking the things that are wrong or that can be fixed right and taking the opportunity to turn it outward and and doing something for somebody else can relieve a lot of that stress and actually bring you to a place of like wow things are pretty good I you know it, it's, it's not as bad as I thought so, I mean it's funny you, you mentioned uh, commenting on somebody else's reflection that would be a great intentional act of kindness that could be a, very very simple that's a really good opportunity to to, to sort of to enliven that practice if you've done that in the past. So uh, yeah, guys, use your creativity. Um, um, be intentional. Have a lot of fun with this. this. Have a lot of fun. You know, don't, yeah. don't don't make it heavy or serious. If 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 you don't want to, you can. I've done that before, and it and it didn't wasn't so effective. Uh, I don't think I scored one point for the week. <laughs> uh, so we recommend not doing that. Right. All right. So here we go. Intentional acts of kindness. Have a great week. We'll see you soon.